to be It's the curse of being free The curse of being free Yeah Baby, it's a good day For the travelers and the sinners All it would be winners The everyday begin again some of his band to play with me, so I was like, of course, and you all welcome Qatar. <laughs> I was thinking of her last name and your first name. Qatar yeah. um, Janich on the drums. Yeah, Mr. Kevin Estrange on the keyboards. This is a new song of mine. Uh, it's called Joy. Oh.
for my Himalayas album, uh, one that I love to play, and this is called uh, The Move and Shake. The Move and Shake? Yep. Two months ago or so, um, and it's, it's not even out yet, but we want to play it here for you because uh, why not? This is uh, yeah. called Creative Potential.
set you up to take it on Oh, cause I've never met you before piece of news um, a few months ago, which is that, and this is something I never really fully expected to happen, you know, like, it's one of those things that you would dream about, but you, it <coughs> could, you could go a whole lifetime, and this could never happen, and so I was really humbled to find out that a song that I wrote um, with a few friends is up, um, is on an album that's up for the Grammy Album of the Year. <laughs> And, and um, I wrote it with my friends Alana Boudreau and, and, oh. and her music, H-E-R. She's a killer R&B singer and, uh, you know, you know. Um, and, uh, and so we wrote this at like a songwriting retreat and then, um, and then I recorded a version, Alana recorded a version and then it was like, her recorded it and we were like, yeah. oh, this is big. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but I love this tune, no matter what. Um, but it's extra special now, just like getting to see where it's gone and um, where it continues to go. And uh, so root for us on January 26th, okay? Yeah. Maybe we'll take it home. Uh, this is The Lord is Coming.
tour around like uh, in Ricky Skaggs's band it was a, a big part of my life Ricky's a mandolin virtuoso country music legend and uh, and and I always like thought of that as like my grad school I, I came to Nashville after college and it was like oh you thought you knew music and then you get dropped into that situation um, and uh, but it was awesome and I got to just learn and grow so much and um, and in that time period it was um, we were actually um, doing some touring with Ricky and Bruce Hornsby at the same time. They have like a collaborative show that's fabulous. And and uh, we were out with, I was out like on this music cruise with Ricky and Bruce and I was like, man, I'm on a boat with Bruce Hornsby. Like, let me just pick his brain, like, right? And so so I I, I got up the nerve to ask him like, man, can I, can I like show you some songs and see what you think? And this was back maybe six years ago or something. So I showed Bruce a few things, and uh, it was really kind to listen, and he goes, Man, Scott, um, your voice sounds good, the songs sound good, it's all good. There's nothing wrong with it, there's just, uh, there's just nothing interesting about it at all. Holy shit. I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, but it was the best day, it was actually like a really... It, I don't know if you even would remember that, but it was a really important day for me because uh, it, it was such like a truth bomb, and it was it was so it was so important for me to hear that, and and uh, and that conversation, and then playing with Ricky's band, and it got my wheels turning. I was like, um, okay, I write songs, and I but I don't use the bass, like, but nobody does that, like, why would I do it? Um, and Big, exactly. Yeah. And so, so, so it was kind of, it, it, it was a light bulb thing for me where it's like, what if I just tried, you know, this sound and, and, um, and that's what you're hearing now. So, um, uh, yeah. Snap it. Um, so, so that kind of like led me down this path to, um, eventually just leaving, leaving the bands I was playing in and, um, and just doing this, what you're witnessing, and, and uh, it's been amazing. I'm gonna leave you guys with a song that is the title track uh, of my album Himalayas, um, which it's kind of sums up of all that, where my, my spirit was at at that time. And, um, if you want, I'll be hanging out in the back. We'd love to meet you guys. I, I do have records and shirts and stuff. Come say hi, um, and uh, thank you again. I'm Scott Wobble Hill. This is Himalayas. <laughs> Thank you. 
friends getting too comfortable. I have waited in this place while ears fly in my face. I am ready, ready to trade.